Hi YouTube, I missed you. I hope you missed me. So today, I'm bringing you the very brightly colored New Balance Minimus. Now, this isn't the New Balance Minimus, 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 Minimus Zero. This is the original Minimus that I inherited from my father because it's kind of falling apart on him. Yeah, kind of flappy. Uh, so let's talk about these for a second. I like these. These are a really good shoe. Uh, it has a very thin sole compared to other things like the Reebok Reflex and the Nike Free. It has a Vibram sole, which is always encouraging. Uh, but it, it's really good. I've done a couple mile run these, probably four or five. Really good. Uh, there's a four millimeter heel to toe drop. That's probably its only drawback. Now, this is really comfortable to wear without socks. Um, however, this is just my shoe. In my shoe right here, in this general area, there's like a, a ball of yarn or knots or something. But there's something that's just leaking thread that my toenails get caught in when I don't wear socks. And I never wear socks, so all the time. But I'm, I'm pretty sure that's just my model. With the uh, Zeros, the new ones, they are seamless inside and out, so I'm sure that problem is fixed. Uh, but I really, really like these shoes. Let's look at the sole for a second. Mine are a little faded. The sole has these pods that give you excellent traction. They usually start off a lot rougher, like here at the midfoot, you can kind of see how it's textured, but my forefoot, it's really bad. Uh, like, well, not bad, but smooth. Really good traction. I mean, it really grips. I'm going to put some pressure, and it just really grips the uh, your surface of running. I've run in the rain in these. That was actually my first run of these. And it was really good at keeping water out, even though you have all this mesh. So it will keep you nice and cool, but you can also do, like, cold weather stuff, like running the rain in them and stuff like that. So... It, you definitely have your options with these. It's a great transitional shoe. It's nice and minimal, so you really get the feel for it, but it also has just a little padding in there to keep you protected, and it really helps because you have to think a lot less about your forefoot strike with these. Um, would I recommend these above the Nike Free or the Reebok Reflex? For me, personally, yes. But that's for you to decide. If you feel like you need more cushion in your transition, then you should probably go with maybe the three. Uh, the three. I'm silly. The free with the 3.0 sole. That's going to be a really good transition for you because I just happened to grab these real quick. This is my 4.0. So if we do kind of a side by side, there's the front, and there's this heel, heel. You can really see how thick this is and how thin this is. Uh, get out of here. So, com comparatively, you can tell that this is a lot thicker. And for some people, that's going to be a good thing. Because they want that extra padding. But for me, I really like this as a transition shoe. I've also done some P90X in these, worked out great, got great traction, you worked on the balls of your feet. As a trail shoe, works fantastically, you get your grip, it got me up muddy hills, it's great, you get really good ground feel compared to other shoes. On the roads, just as good, on flat rough surfaces, you can still just work in that forefoot, push off, the pods work just as well there as they do on the trails. So I would say, especially if you're looking at a new, newer version without the seams and stuff, if you're looking at a trail shoe that can go from either trail to road and is really comfortable to wear, I would say New Balance Zeros and this New Balance Minimus are the shoes for you. Super comfortable, great transition shoe, and I mean, look at this. Look at this, like, waffle print orange. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful shoe. You should go out and buy this shoe. It's going to run you about... 90 to 100 dollars, depending if you can find a sale. I would look for a sale, because you want to buy this shoe. It's really great. So, uh, thank you for this. In the near future, and I mean very near future, as in maybe within the week, I'm hoping on making a review of these, my reflexes and the Nike Freeze in the thicker shoe, and uh, do a compare and contrast. So, uh, 
thank you for watching. It's been an honor to meet whoever you are, and uh, thank you for watching again.